We made it guys, the rescue zoo was approved for the 23rd time in a row in this yearly inspection which means we have been approved since 1998 to keep, you know, keep the exotic animals, run the rescue zoo, run the rescue center and we're all just freaking happy today. So let's get started with today's episode. Hi guys, it is Nico here in the Rescue Zoo and today we are incredibly excited here at the Rescue Center because we were approved once again to be able and continue to well do our work here with the 600 animals here at the Rescue Zoo. It means that we are legitimately licensed to have a traditional zoo and a rescue zoo and it means that we are legally allowed to have the rescue animals and work together with other legal zoos all around the world. So it's a huge deal and it's what makes us be able to do what we do besides donations and people visiting in us uh, and all, all that amazing stuff of course. But we, uh, it, it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work keeping the standard up all year round. And the thing is you're not working in the rescue zoo with you know, non-animated object or non-living object like boxes in a warehouse, you are you're dealing with real exotic living animals all year round, which means we can't just look at the list of what we need to be, you know, be doing to get the license again and just look at it and have it all ready for when the inspection is. It needs to be done all year round because it's living things and it's, it, it's a lot of work and it, it's the reason why we're so happy and so grateful that, you know, we have such amazing people working here and the reason why we can keep up with the standard and keep getting the license since 1998 when my parents got the place here, at the res here in Denmark, the rescue zoo, it's just, if I'm mumbling, if I'm coming on a rant here, it's just because I'm incredibly happy. It's, it's an amazing moment, it's the yearly thing, it's just sort of a, um, it all comes together and just show the hard work that everybody puts into it. And again, we were approved. Let's go out and say hi to Alex. She had a bit of a few words about, you know, the process of the work we're doing. And uh, yeah, then uh, that's uh, it's just amazing, guys. Let's go see Alex. <laughs> hi, Alex. Hi, Nico. Hi. So, uh, can you explain to us about yearly inspection? Yearly inspection, well, this is anyone who has a license to keep and hold uh, various animals in various situations, be it farming, zoos, rescues, sanctuaries, uh, pet stores, they have to be authorised and licensed to be able to do so. So every year we get uh, the inspectors that come to the zoo the rescue to uh, <laughs> to check that everything is on on par with the way it should be. Way animals are being held, standard of the animals, paperwork that goes with things, licensing, how we hold our animal products. It basically checked top to toe to see if we are abiding by the laws, everything is registered and everything is as it should be. If you don't pass this check, you do not get to keep your license. So today we've had the regional vet and the uh, inspector come to, to come to the rescue today. And so they've been going around checking everything, as well as they also had two police officers with them. Um, now the police is not something that usually comes along, however, they are lucky enough that the inspectors are trying to get uh, the police officers to understand animal situations when they get called out to various uh, setups. They need to know what they're looking for and what they have to watch out for and what do they do if they come across a situation where they need to take a step in and help out the situation and what do they do afterwards. So luckily enough the inspector is taking the policemen around to all, because it's not just us that are getting checked, everyone's getting checked, they have to be checked before the new year. So she's taking them around to the various places to see the various things they have to look out for which means it'll be a better cooperation and a better um, teamwork between uh, us and the police if they ever need our help as well but the good news is 
for like nearly a month we've had to like make sure that everything's sorted and paperwork's right so we can just pull it out whatever they ask for we're ready for them they've got it so all the prep work was done they checked it all Johan had to sit with them for god knows how many hours and we passed our inspection so we are good to go for another year And thank you to Alex for the few words about what the yearly inspection means here at the Rescue Zoo. And thank you to you guys who have been watching today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm sure if you're watching this on the Sunday show, there's a coming a story right up here on the Twitch show. And if you're watching on YouTube, I'm sure there's a lot of other stories. If you want to keep watching some rescue stories, there's tons here on the channel. But it was Nico here and I hope you enjoyed it today, guys. Until we see each other again. Take care, everybody.